When you see digital journaling, you mainly see apps like GoodNotes, Notability, maybe even Zinnia being used. There's so many to choose from, but what if you want something a little more simpler? Like maybe you're just getting into digital journaling and you don't want all the fancy templates, notebook covers that all those well-known apps come with and are known for. Maybe you just want something completely free. The Notes app right in your phone could be what you're looking for. I'm using my iPhone, but if you have an iPad, that works even better. I'm sure Android users could also use their Notes app, but for now, I'll be focusing on Apple Notes. I've set up a folder within my Notes app with all of my digital journaling, I guess, kind of spreads or entries that I've been kind of playing with so far. These wouldn't be what I would call like serious entries. This is just what I was playing around with just to kind of see what I could, what all I could do in the app. I have three so far, one where I was using my iPad and then the other two I was playing around with my phone. So if you wanted to start a journal entry in your notes app, let's just say you wanted to start a title. This is where I started the title here where it says iPhone journal. I am using a regular stylus pen. So that's what makes it hard, especially on an iPhone. It's a little bit easier if you're using an iPad because the screen is bigger and it's going to be easier if you have an Apple Pencil or something closer to an Apple Pencil rather than just a regular old stylus pen. So let's just say I wanted to draw the title here, iPhone. See, it's very hard. Journal. And if you wanted to change the color, now there is different pens and like crayons and stuff that you can choose from. There's also a ruler if you wanted to make your line straight, but I generally don't use the ruler. But also right here uh, next to the little color changer that plus button you can add stickers and text and shapes we'll get to the signature at the end but if you wanted to add a sticker you can just hit add sticker and you can use i would never use any of these but you can use emojis you can use stickers that you've made from your phone and your camera roll um, so this is a sticker that I made, and I'm also going to add an emoji sticker. Let's add that picture of myself that I made a sticker. And then you could add text. Now, of course, if you was making a journal entry, this text would say something different. But since this is a tutorial, I'm just going to say stickers. So that I know these was the stickers that I used. And you can actually move, okay, there I was about to say, you can move the box, but it's not moving. So I'm gonna put stickers next to the stickers. You can add a shape. So any of these shapes, um, I like to use the arrow because you can reshape the arrow like that. So now we know the text stickers and we're pointing to the stickers that we added here another thing that you can do let me remove this ruler let me you hit done now i just want to add a checklist and that's right here at the bottom left i just want to add this to show what i've already shown let's see draw right we'll get to the writing more into the writing in a little bit if you needed to use a checklist for something there you go now also within the text for formatting okay that's what i wanted to write right there format it where the little a is and then you have you hear it for the title heading subheading body and then you also have mono styled so let's just say you wanted to put it as a title and it's bold and underlined. And let's just say title here, which could be a journal entry. Uh, if you have titles for your journal entries, you could put that there or you could put the date. So today is the 13th. And then that could be your heading to the start of your journal. But oh yeah, we have to take the, that off too. So let's go ahead. And then you can go ahead and do your journal entry. Now, if you want this to be a little bit more centered, of course, you could just space it out all the way to the middle 
or you could just again use format and then go over to the indention and hit increase now another thing you can do with um, sprucing up your little headings here in your titles to your journal entry is by using symbols of course you could draw it out like i've done up here and add little stickers around it and things like that but like i said on an iphone the drawing is a little bit more difficult especially if you don't have an apple pencil so you might not want to be trying to do a lot of drawing and handwriting so you could like i said use symbols and i'm going to show you an example you can use symbols and then type whatever your title is or your date is in the middle and then have symbols around it and then as you can see the second one here's another example so this is like a butterfly and i guess those are like bubbles and stuff and then you could put your title or your text here this third one this is another example you can put like some little symbols like that put it whatever your entry is right there and end it out with some other symbols I have some other examples too but i'll show those in another video when i'm going to be showing the ipad version uh, and if you want to know how i got these symbols like this or how to create your own i am going to do a separate video just for that but just to tell you all how i'm currently using it there's a specific keyboard that i use and it's already those symbols are already built in so all i have to use is switch to that keyboard and pick whichever one I want to use so it's right there for me but if you don't want to use a keyboard for it you can also go on google and go to a website just go on google and type like heart symbols star symbols and stuff like that and there's websites that'll come up with a ton of them but if you don't want to do that all the time i'd say just do it that first time and copy all of the ones that you know you're going to be using and make a note make a new note just simply for symbols only and then copy and paste them in there so that you can always refer back to it when you're journaling in your notes app and you can just again save that into your digital journaling folder and with the mono styled this is what that looks like and you can type you could use this for a header also if you wanted to type in the date or whatever your journal entry is in there or you could also use this right here and it's like for quotes, but you could also use it for like quoting a specific part of a journal entry or, or a specific quote that you want to add in your journal entry. Or again, like I said, for some type of title or heading. If you wanted to add in lines and grids, you could do that by again, hitting that plus button and there's a grid right there. Now, I don't really use this. I never use this for anything but if you have a use for it then hey go ahead and use that up here at the top where the three dots are in the circle you would click that and then you see it says lines and grids now here there's options for different spaced outlines and different grids i usually don't use the grids and i really don't like the lines all too much either but you can use them it's better you get better use from the lines on an ipad rather than your phone again if you have something that you could use these grids for it could be good for bullet journaling um, i haven't tested that out yet so that would be something you'd have to test out because i don't do bullet journaling oh and on the color wheel too i just wanted to show you it has the grid and the sliders as well so let's just say journaling you have to use like two or three lines to be able to write better on your phone let's see if I can write in the one line write me then if you wanted to go ahead and try to write your whole entry i wouldn't advise that but if you bad you bad and you can do it you can do it if you got better quality stylus pens or apple pen or something like that go ahead but this is me trying to write with this old stylus pen on my iphone so let's just i'm gonna just write some random stuff today today is a great day <laughs> see uh-uh this is not how I would want to journal. But if you wanted to just go ahead and type that out, instead you could write with me, today is a great day. With this, uh, like writing and texting, if you have something that you, like if you have a journal and you want it to scan a page from your journal into 
the note you could do that i'm trying to find the page that i did in my example okay so i'll just show you here i had scanned right here i had scanned a page from my actual journal and it scanned that text and typed it in of course it's not perfect so as you can see there's some um typos in here but that's because my handwriting is a bit sloppy but you know if your handwriting is a little bit better then it should scan that a little bit better for you and maybe completely perfect but just go ahead and make sure you check through it if you do want to use that option and you can also choose to scan from like some better text like a page from a book or something that's what i've did here this is a page from a book that i found when i was taking a walk with my son and i wrote some blackout poems from those pages so if you want to check out that video i'll link that but this is the page that I scanned and it went ahead and typed that in for me so let me go ahead and show just a random quick example here so you would hit your camera and you would hit scan text and as you can see it's trying to scan whatever I wrote in there in my sloppy handwriting I write better than this but you know when I'm journaling I don't be trying to write perfect because I'm just trying to journal whatever comes to my mind quickly so, you know, if you wanted to do that, you could insert it that way. I don't generally do that, but like I said, if you was wanting to go ahead and get some of your previous entries that are from a notebook into your notes app, that would be a way to do it. Hopefully your handwriting is a little bit neater, but if not, you know, all you got to do is go in and fix the mistakes. Now, if you wanted to do it by, like I said, scanning a random page, we'll do that here. Scan text again, insert, and you see how quick that was because it easily read that text. There wasn't no sloppy handwriting. Now, what you can also do is scan documents. That's how I did that picture. So it'll automatically take it. You hit save, and then there you go. You have a document of it in there as well now of course you can choose a photo or video to add in there and you can also take a photo or video to add in there i'm just gonna choose a photo or video to add in which is just gonna be a screenshot of the very first version that i did trying to use my notes app to journal so this was the very i'll go to it actually this was the very first, I know it says today, but that's because I've been in here adding stuff to it and editing and stuff. But this was the very first one I tried to do like a, a test journal entry with. It would be better if they had a tool where you could forward or backward certain things. But I would have to go in and write that late night a little bit more so you could see that over the blue. If you wanted to use shapes to make this like a highlight for some type of text, you could. Oh, another thing I can show you while I'm here, because it's right here, this circle that I did, if you wanted to draw a shape, and of course it's not perfect, all you have to do is draw it and press and hold and then it will make a perfect circle for you or whatever that shape is that you're trying to make, it will make it perfect for you. And then here is a picture that I added to this first one. The one that I just showed you was the screenshot of this entry, but in this entry, I added a photo of one of my previous thumbnails. You can also use different fonts to make your text stand out, um, your titles or headers and things like that in your entries stand out. And again, I'm gonna make a separate video just for this for symbols and using different fonts i'm gonna make a separate video just for that now if you want to make bullet points of course all you have to do is you can either use the little dash and then hit the space bar and you know do it that way or you could do it by using the little bullet point thing right there like that etc or you can use emojis to do it so if you wanted something a little bit more cute, a, of course it just wouldn't automatically add in the emoji or regular heart symbol as it would with these dashes and these little actual bullet points. So let's say I wanted to use this cute heart as my bullet points. 
you can do it that way. So those are cute ways to make bullet points. Now, let's say in this journal entry, I wanna easily be able to go to another journal entry. Did you know that in your notes app, you could easily link to other journal entries by just using the, uh, what is this, the greater than symbol? Just hit that twice and then your journal entries will come up and you can put which one that you want to link it to. So let's just say I wanted to link it to this paper like for digital journaling because I also want to show you how to do a quick note. So now we're instantly in that next journal entry and I'll show you that again. Let's link to another one. How to digital journal and it took us to this journal entry that we did. Let's go back to the paper like for digital journaling. I wanna show you how to do a quick note. This is from a quick note and I just clicked that and it took me to a website. So let me go to, I'm using paper like as the example. So I'm on this website, I like it. I feel like it could help with my journal entry or with whatever note I'm working on. And I wanna easily be able to get back to it and remember that this is where I got that information from or whatever. So all you have to do is scroll down and you have to make sure that you have quick notes in your little drop down menu or whatever. This is what the quick notes look like. You got that little scribble you would click that and if you wanted to write anything out this is a quick note you can do the you know heading and all of that you can even draw um i know that looks a little raggedy but that's okay you can even add your signature so yeah this is gonna look a little raggedy this is how you would do that and what you would do there's your link I, mean, I didn't mean to click on it <laughs> and then you would hit done and save you can just easily go to your quick notes and those those quick notes that you did but i want to go back into my digital journaling folder because i want to show you how to make that signature these are the two signatures that i had made if you hit the plus button and hit draw hit the plus button again add signature okay so it came up in this one. So that's how you would add a signature. Let's say you was done with your journal entry for that day and you wanna add a signature. You can make it, you can add or remove a signature. So these are the two that I already have added on here. If you wanted to remove them, you can, but if you wanted to add one, you just hit the plus and then you go ahead and use your finger and draw. And if you wanna do a little hard or something, you could, and then boom there you go there's a signature that you can use for every entry and you can make multiples so that you can have a different variety there's a lot that you can do within your apple notes if you just go in and play around with it not even just for digital journaling if you want to get more into productivity and organizing your notes better in certain ways and just organizing your days and better ways there's ways that you can do that in apple notes and also using reminders as well within them but you know, just simply for digital journaling, just go in and play around with it. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because I am going to be showing how to do a digital journaling version on the iPad. And I'm also going to be showing how to get those different fonts and symbols for your journal entries as well, using the keyboard that I use and certain websites you can go to and how to just keep them saved in your notes apps. And again, another way that you could add in your signature without having to go in and make one and add it that way is to simply just draw it out. That don't even look too bad on my phone. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it don't even look too bad. Neither one of them do. So if you're interested in digital journaling, I'm gonna be showing you some more apps that I've checked out and tried as well for digital journaling and how you can use them for digital journaling. Cause I've used them mainly for just like jotting down my poems. But then I start realizing that you can actually use these apps for more than just typing. Like there's there's a lot more that you can do with them. So we are starting out real simple and easy right now using Apple Notes. I got a few videos coming up on those. So yeah, just stay tuned and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos.